When the Predators came to Nashville in the late 90s, it was just the start of our city's love for hockey. The sports rise has now led to more recreational leagues, fans, and yeah, players of all ages. No doubt, our Austin Pollock actually met with a passionate fan who grew up loving the Preds, and even having never played growing up, something changed, and that fan was determined to make himself feel like a kid again. Here's this week's Take Time to Smile. I'm a big hockey fan. I mean, come on, I grew up with Wayne Gretzky. Just tell me good things come to those who wait, and if you take the time to do something, you know, you're gonna get you're gonna get something out of it. It's been a long wait for Delton Teeter. I started skating in June on six synthetic ice in the garage. <laughs> a 35-year-old living a five-year-old's dream. Golly, I feel like a kid again. I feel like, a, well, definitely a kid. I wanted to do this as a kid, but never got to do it, so. I... A kid raised in Clarksville. Say go, Daddy! Now sees a reflection of himself. I didn't show him the way of hockey. Go! He showed me. You got it, Way. Come on. Stay with it, stay with it. That a boy, that a boy. Good job, Wade. Good job. Good job. Delton's son, Wade, turns two next month. Got him a little foam hockey stick, started hitting it around the house. And he loves to watch the Predators play. Uh, he immediately started hitting it around the house. And I was like, well, dang. I guess I better start catching up or he's going, I'm going to get left behind. Delton took skating lessons. I need to learn. He kept looking at me like, you need to get out of here with me. And I practiced in the garage till I felt safe enough to skate with him and protect him. Roles reversed. You never know what a child is capable of. And when it comes to helping his dad turn back the clock, this child, this boy of few words. Say, how about that? Sure says. Say, how about that? A lot. How about that? That's right, how about that? They shoot pucks in my house and I let it happen because I would never stop them from making those memories. Memories that are more than Come on. a miracle. Um, it was a lot of doctors, a lot of doctors visits back and forth to Knoxville. We were told by doctors that I would never get pregnant. Just told us it never was gonna happen. In these skates, almost two sizes too big. And the stick is a youth stick and we cut it down. <laughs> never lose hope of making those memories. I just look at him and I just see my miracle baby. There we go. With this miracle on ice. Good job. Come on, I'm Austin Pollock, News Channel 5.